Hello and welcome to New Junction. As you can see, I've got two DRS Class 20s sat at a stop signal. They do have work to do on New Junction. However, because the pilot siding isn't ready, they're stuck here for the moment. So we better get on with the progress. So here we are back at the pilot sidings. I think before we go any further with any ground base covering, I'm going to put the fence in now, just while I've got a, a clear sort of baseboard to do it in. Um, it can be quite a fiddly job, but it's well worth it. Um, technically speaking, because this station is uh, walled in, it doesn't actually need a fence. Um, but I just think it lends something to the scene, so I'm going to put one in. Um, so, let's get on with the progress, and we'll start putting the fence in now. And there we go. The fence is now all lightly placed in position. As you've just seen, I've used my uh, uh, track pin drill just to put some pilot holes in and then the odd foot on the fence panels themselves is now in the hole and that's what's holding it together. While it's lightly placed in position, I'm going to use some rocket card glue. Um, this does do plastic and this will be very quick as well so we can get on with the, uh, the rest of the ground cover. Um, before I get on with the glue and for the next section I'm going to turn the power off so my uh, buffers will go off. Um, I'm also going to take these off now anyway for a bit of painting. Um, <laughs> to hold the, uh, the fence in position like here, you can see where it's, I need it to fit a certain shape. I'm going to use the tried and tested method of using my <laughs> Oxford vehicles pressed against it to hold it in place while it dries. <laughs> it's all the modern techniques here. Right, so that's the fence drying nicely now. I'm just gonna leave that 10 or 15 minutes with the rocket card glue to uh, dry enough so I could uh, risk knocking it. So in terms of the ground cover next up, the bit next to the station, so there, um, that's just going to have normal ballast um, as a continuation of the station up until the network rail van. For this, I'm using the uh, Hatton's 400 gram tubs. This is the modern ballast in fine. I always use the N-gauge ballast when I do any ballasting. So that's the first, the first step. For the actual siding, um, I want an underground cover, so above the, uh, as you see there. I'm going to be using the tried and tested method, which is where I take soil from the garden, put it in your shot, um, put it in all the kitchen utensils. What I've done is I've let that dry out, and then I sieve it through, and I get a very fine uh, soil dusting, which is very rich in colour, and it does look a tad more realistic than some of the scatters. That said, I am going to be adding, padding this one out with Woodland Scenics fine turf. Um, if I can show you, there you go. Just to uh, make it go a bit further, because I am uh, <laughs> running out of soil in this pan. Let's refocus you over here. So. The general covering here will be will start off being the the soil and scatter mix and then we'll slightly spoon on the ballast um, onto the siding itself this isn't the, for the lane closest to us that's going to have a proper layer of ballast on top of that still and i'll show you more on that later whereas the one behind and the actual route into the siding 
is going to have a very fine layer of ballast just spooned on. So uh, I'm going to go and prepare the ground scatter and uh, hopefully fill in the gaps. So I'm going to use my normal mix of PVA water and washing up liquid. I'm going to make a slightly thicker mix. I'd normally aim for 50-50. Um, however, this time I want, to, I want it to be liquid enough that it'll spread around easily um, and go under the fence, etc. Um, yet stodgy enough that it won't just run and <laughs> ruin the layout. So I'm going to try and probably make a 40-60. I'm probably failing miserably already. Let's see how this feels. Again, this is the fun of modelling. Make a nice big mess. Wash that liquid in. Helps it smell nice. You can just tell by the consistency stirring and lifting it up. That's almost just where I'm after. Probably a touch more glue, I think. ever so slightly too much that. Go. And all I'm going to do is if I was uh, doing normal ballast with a syringe, I'm just going to syringe this glue up cause a big mess here, a big puddle, and then uh, get my ballast of choice and just sprinkle it over the top. And then once it's dry, hoover up the excess. Nice and simple. And there we go. A few other reasons I do it that way rather than uh, the traditional uh, ballast down first and the glue on top way. I tend to find that when you uh, put it on the baseboard first, um, you actually use less ballast because if you put the ballast down first, you soak all the glue into it um, and then therefore all of it is stuck. Whereas this way, only what the ballast, the first layer of ballast that's sat on will actually stay. So when this is dry, there'll be a layer at the top which I can brush off with a brush um, and then reuse it. So I actually find it quite an economical way. Um, also by making a liquidy mix rather than uh, brushing it on, um, I tend to find it goes in more nooks and crannies. Um, so that's just my way. You can do it pretty much any way you want really. You know, you'll get the same effect. So moving round, I'm now going to take away the buffers um, and do the same. Um, except with the scatter. So uh, let's go on with that. So earlier you all saw me crush up the soil mix. Now in this tub, on camera it looks fairly brown, but in reality with the earth it looks almost a touch green to be honest. Um, it just looks very rich. Now a low-lying railway next to a retaining wall normally is going to be quite a damp environment. So usually the textures and colours will be darker. Um, so that's why I've added um, the fine earth, just to give it a bit, bit of a darker texture. I'm also going to crack open a uh, tub of medium grey ballast. So the ballast I've been using has been all light grey, as you can see on the main layout. And the, uh, the sidings I've just done, or the edge I've just done. Touch darker, and it'll just pad out the uh, scatter a bit more and make a good general scene going around the tracks. Of course, this isn't the final ballast layer that is going to cover the tracks. This is just the scatter underneath. So I'll do that now.
and there we are. As you can see, the scene itself is coming together quite nicely. The ballast rolls in from the station, and then the groundwork is now uh, drying um, for the sidings themselves. Moving on now, I'm going to move on to the ballast. So, as I said, I'm going to attempt to try and get the, the line in and the inner siding to look normal, so they'll be ballasted as normal. The outer one I want to look uh, eventually as though it's in disuse and hopefully um, cover it with grass etc and things like that and um, make it look like it's not really in use whereas this one is but we'll see how it goes so on to the next phase now ballasting the track I'm going to use the ballast mate for the, uh, the main line and uh, the first siding and I'm going to spoon it in for the outside one because it'll be less ballast so let's see how that goes So the joy of ballasting a siding is it doesn't have to be neat. So this is a rare chance to actually enjoy some ballasting without having to worry about it being um, super clean and tidy like the, uh, the main line. Now as I'm coming off my main line using my trusty ballast mate, I'm going to use a mix of my Woodland Scenics uh, light grey stuff. Um, and I've also got some um, Hatton Tyler's Highlander ballast just because there's a bit of colour in there and I'm going to nicely mix that in just as it's coming off the main line. And I'm just gently stirring that in with the end of my brush. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. All I'm gonna do is pour it in, and rather quickly, because I don't want a big shoulder, I'm gonna pull it across, and there we go. Let's do it once more. One part model in this. Go. So normally I would pay great attention to making this <laughs> as neat as I can, but this time I don't really have to worry too much. Obviously, the mainline part of it does want to be as neat as you can get it, as normal. But the actual siding themselves, a light brush over the top is enough. And just like that you can see how easy it is. So all the excess ballast that's dotted around just adds to the scenery. Now I'm going to go on and do the uh, other siding now and then uh, I'll get on with spooning it on for the actual uh, disused one. And there we are. That's now all done, as well as it can be. All it needs now is a bit of a tidy up and then some glue. The glue will be applied in the normal way, just a sort of 50-50 mix with some washing up liquid, poured over the top and then left to dry, which is perfect timing because in a few days I'll be able to uh, temporarily park up these two DRS Class 20s. So hopefully this video hasn't been too montage heavy, it might have been, but there's been a lot of uh, work just to get to this stage. So uh, thank you very much if you're still still watching. Um, I'm going to leave you now with a montage of me gluing the ballast down. But otherwise, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.